Hi, this is Andrea Towers with TV Insider in the Hollywood branded Unbranded Lounge, and I am here with the cast of Evil. Hey. Hi, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, congratulations on season four. You just got renewed, and you're in the middle of an incredible season three run right now. Um, do you look back at season one when you were starting the show, and are you like, oh my god, what happened? How did we get here? How did we <laughs> become this phenomenon? How did we get so old? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, well, we had a whole COVID year in between. Right. So yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm I so what I wanted to say <laughs> was... <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's been a... It's been, <laughs> yes. it's, been a, it's been a remarkable ride. <laughs> um, and no, we didn't. I don't think any of us really thought. You know, every uh, every time you get renewed for another season, you're like, oh, okay, great. They they still want to keep writing for. Her. They still love us. You know, so it's it's uh, it's a great thing, and it's an affirmation to the fact that our fans, uh, we seem to be growing with more fans, and the people seem to be really loving the storylines this season. And 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 I get you know personally like a lot of tweets and things from people who just are are really investing in these characters in this world now in a way that I don't think we saw in, in the first season. So I it's great. Uh, do you know or do you have any idea where your characters might go in season four? Uh, you can lie to me. It's okay. We don't, I know we, don't, <laughs> we don't know because we don't write the show. <laughs> um, but Robert and Michelle King probably, you know, have an idea. Um, I'd like to see uh, Ben just... Um, play like different aspects I'd like to see like a demon Ben and like a, a, a <laughs> she's shaking her head because she's done it <laughs> well no he wants to be in demon Kristen's underwear is that what you're saying I want to I want to I want to he wants to have sex scenes with Mike Coulter is that what you're <laughs> uh, no it, it's true yeah I'd like to have, I, I, I think we'd like I'd like to have um, <laughs> more lingerie no um, <laughs> we're, we've been at this all day um I think that I would love to see Ben uh, examine some of the stuff that he, uh, why he ended up working for the Catholic Church, you know, what, what brought him here. He's got a lot of demons in his past that he hasn't dealt with. Um, and, uh, and I think we all want a musical theater episode. Oh, yeah. We all want a musical episode. Not necessarily musical theater, but just musical yes, episode. Yes, you guys need a, mu you did the silent episode and you need a musical episode now. You got to yeah. round it out. Uh, now, Mike's not here, so I can ask you about where we're going to see Kristen and David go. We got three episodes left of season three, I believe. So uh, are we going to see anything happening between them? Um, well, I can't spoil that, but, <laughs> but I think we'll continue on this slow burn kind of a path. I, uh, I think they, they are two people who do really love each other uh, and have um, also respect for each other's life pa life's paths. So um, we're just going to have to see how it all plays out. For now, it's Demon Kristen who, <laughs> who he hangs out with most. So True. <laughs> but Demon, is that fun to play? Uh, yeah, it's fun because she's, she's so different to Kristen, uh, yet, yet tries to emulate her. And um, that's, that's fun to do, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, Christine, Grandmother of the Year, as we call you in Thank our you. house when we watch the show, we say Thank Grandmother you. of the Year. Yes. <laughs> Rad G. <laughs> Grand my granddaughter's like. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel like after that last most recent episode uh, that she's kind of at a point of no return in terms of how far she's willing to go and um, kind of becoming evil herself. I mean, do you see her going down that path or is everything she's doing more of a means to an end for what she wants to achieve in terms of taking Leland down? Um, Very good. I, I think that's fantastic. I, uh, I think she has a, this is all a means to an end. Um, I think that she is going to try to bring Leland down, yeah, and protect her family ultimately. But I don't know, the Kings might have a whole different idea, but that's my, that's my hope. Well, you say it on camera, yeah. you know, that it's, it's technically true and it can <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Protect the family. We'll have to see, you know, once Kristen finds out <laughs> what uh, her mom has done, I don't, I don't know how we repair that. So that's right. going to be a really interesting thing for season four. Obviously, we're, you know, Andy, we now know yep. that he is still alive in some shape or form and, and what's going to happen there. And then once I figure out that 
my mom put him there, <laughs> the father of my children. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I think we need to uh, talk talk about that. <laughs> yeah, but he, um, he did me wrong. I mean, he uh, tried to... To remove me from you. As he and should. And You're, well, you should have See, we're left. having our, our, our conversation Oh, my God. Now. They're having yeah. a job. Our, right our therapy. Actually, I... I writing season four, right? right. Yeah. No, we are not writers. We are actors. And I don't want to write it. <laughs> but I do I do think that... Um, thanks. I do think that what we might see in season four, which I would really like to explore, is um, uh, something about you know, the destruction of our planet and climate change and how, um, you know, that's probably the biggest evil of all is people knowingly trying to uh, destroy our planet for their own greed, for money that, you know, they won't be able to spend once we don't have a planet that's livable anymore. So I'm very interested to see if we can do something with that on, on evil. That's, I mean, one of the great things about the show is that it incorporates so many real world kind of issues of yeah. men um, or real world situations and kind of ties it all back to like demons and, and yeah. night terrors and like all these things that are fictional but really manifest themselves in a real world evil in a way that makes people think. Exactly. And there's so much evil around, unfortunately. And, and not in the form of demons, right. but in the form of corporate greed and yeah. uh, trying to control well, women's well, bodies and et yeah. cetera, et cetera. I think, what the, so I think what the show does really well is sort of articulate some of those real world problems in the myth, in the quote unquote mythology of demons and all that, using that as a storytelling device to actually articulate real world uh, issues. And so I think climate change is, is a great example of, of um, <coughs> sort of taking a real world issue and using demons to tell that story, whether or not you believe in demons or not, you know? Yeah, I mean, we all know that greed exists, and if you want to call that demonic, that's fine. If you don't believe in all that, you you, you call it something else. Uh, and I would call d patriarchy demonic as well. Yeah. In, in how the hierarchy of patriarchy Absolutely. and how it um, is especially now yeah. raging with its last gasping breaths and trying to control women. I mean, contraception uh, they're trying uh, to take away from us. Like, what the actual f, you guys? Yeah. What the hell is happening? But none of it will matter. Like, none of any of this will matter if we don't have a livable planet and if global warming continues like this there's going to be drought there's going to be hunger it's going to get really really bad and i would just you know we are in a climate emergency and i would love it if we tackle that yeah. well hopefully we will get to see you do that in season four um I'm and as we know television shows solve all the problems they do. <laughs> hey, yeah. people's lives have been changed by television shows. I mean, don't... No, like don't in a non... I don't know. No, no, but no, no, they, I think it, it, it definitely is, as storytellers, it, it is upon us to tell these stories and to, you know, anyway. And keep it light and fun. As exactly. Well, With as demons. Right. And in the corner of your bedroom. <laughs> Well, you can, um, uh, Evil, see, now that you throw me off track, uh, yeah, right. Evil is currently airing on Paramount Plus. You can catch the last three episodes uh, in the next three weeks, and season four will hopefully premiere next year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. So much. you. Thank you. Thank you.